All right, guys, we're going to do the, the mixed coin hunt here. Um, I set up this dollar bill here because I got it back in change yesterday. And it's a 2003, which I know is not that old, but it's old enough that I like to hold on to it. So I just thought I'd show it to you guys real quick. And uh, so anyhow, we'll go through this. Um, I already separated out the foreigns and the coin star finds. This is a... Uh, I believe that's a 2000, no, that's a 98 one peso. We got a 2015 one peso, or maybe that's 16. Hard to tell. I think it's 2015 one peso. And then a 2009, I believe, two peso. And then I saw this and it caught my eye. This was a 1969. Out of San Francisco, in really good shape. And this dime is just hilarious. It is so ridiculously worn out. I've never seen a current clad dime this worn. Pretty funny. I'm going to keep it just for fun. But uh, anyhow, we'll get into the dollars, then the quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. And uh, I did get one half dollar. 1989 out of Denver. I don't need it, but uh All right, we will get into these and I'll bring you back on the first find Well, here we got our first find in one of the loose dollars. This was a 2012 NIFC Philadelphia position a uh, Dollar coin. I did not have this one. I have uh, a Denver version of this, but not a Philadelphia So that is very very exciting um, unfortunately, I don't have an album for my position A's, so I will just have to put it in my rolls until I do get one. So, that is a first find. Um, I'll be back with the next good find. I started to open the first roll of dollars, and I saw that the end was a Susan B. Anthony, and then I noticed the year is 1999, and the, the mint is Philadelphia. That is a um, pretty low-minted coin, if I recall. So um, that's kind of exciting. So anyway, let's uh, let's just open this lot of over here. See if anything jumps out of us, jumps out of us as surprising. A lot of Susan B. Anthony's in there. All right, well I'll bring it back if I find some good. Okay, the only finds we got out of the dollars was this uh, 2012 that I showed already. This um, very interestingly toned. 2000p. I don't think I'm going to keep it, but I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's got a very much like a rainbow tone to it. Kind of cool. I, I do like it, but it's not cool enough to keep, but I thought I'd show it to you guys. And then they got a 1980 out of Philly, which is pretty low minted, and I don't have very many of these, so I'm going to hold on to this for sure. Uh, we did also get the 99. I looked it up. It's not not as low minted as I was thinking it was. The, the D's and S's are... Um, but the uh, the P's are, are not, they're relatively low compared to the other ones, but um, but not good enough that I want to keep it. And they were in pretty bad shape anyway. I got two of them. But I didn't want to keep either of them. Anyhow, um, let's move on to the quarters now. Okay, I gotta say those quarters were a bit of a letdown. But we did get a Lowell that looks incredible. We got a River No Return that looks really nice. We got a bat quarter, a American Samoa that looks really nice. We got an 83 out of Denver that looks really nice to me, so I'm going to hold on to that. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to. And then I got two Salt River Bays. This one looks pretty bad. I'm going to toss this back. But this one looks pretty good, so I'm going to hold on to that one. All right, moving on to the dimes. Okay, I finished going through the dimes. I got a really nice 68 out of Denver. A really nice 74 to Denver and this odd looking dark toned one. I don't know if that's just how it was made or if that's been post mint or what, but it's I kind of like the color on that. And then we got some uh, a couple 2004s that just beautiful. Couldn't uh, couldn't put them back. They're just they just look so nice. And then a uh, 2005 that looks fantastic. That'll probably upgrade my album. And a 2017 that has like a very light gold, um, uh, what do you call it, um, 
coating around it or something. But in any case, it looks really cool. So I'll keep. I'll hold on to these ones. But that's all we got in the dime. So let's move on to the nickels. Okay, I'm on the third roll of nickels. This looks old. I'm hoping it is. And it's a 64, of course. Nothing really worth mentioning in the uh, nickels other than this 1964 that looks in really nice shape. The back is a little scuffed up, but um, but it, only if you look at it under the microscope. To the naked eye, it looks really good. But uh, yeah, I'll hold on to this one. That's really about it. All right, moving on to pennies. First roll of pennies, and we got a wheat penny. Let's see. 1955. I presume it's not the DDO. It would be pretty obvious if it was, and it's not. But that's a cool weedy. It's on the board. All right. All right, that was a pretty uh, lackluster hunt, to be honest. Um, the only things that we got that were really cool were the foreigns from early on, the uh, NIFC dollar coin, the 1980p, which is low minted, so I hold on to it, the wheat cent from 1955. And the beautiful 1964 coin. There's some other coins I set aside, like some coppers. They're really nice. 60, 65 there as well. Um, that was pretty nice. And we got a couple of 70s here that are really nice. 73D, 72D, 77D, 79P. And then some really nice 80s as well. 80 and 81, both Denver. Um... And I guess the 69S as well that we got early on. But uh, that's really it for finds. Um, there's some other side ones that I put aside just to um, compare them against my album, but they're nothing special. So, anyhow, that'll be the end of this hunt. I will probably combine this with another one, and uh, we'll see you on the next mixed hunt.